like feel super awkward starting this vlog. I don't even know what to say. Um, so we just got up not too long ago. Um, Olivia is eating watermelon as you just saw. I am drinking coffee because these bags are ridiculous. Um, but anyway, I made some coffee. I was gonna go get some coffee, but I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like loading up all my kids just to go drive through Starbucks and get coffee and come home. Um, so yeah, we are just kind of hanging out. The boys are playing with the blocks. I'm making a breakfast sandwich. Hey, Mason. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hey, mister. I love you. I love you. Jacob. Jacob. What are you doing? We got our morning tunes on. The boys are obsessed with Secret Life of Pets. Like, obsessed. So, I'm putting that on in the mornings for them just to occupy them or during any rough patches in the day. We just flip it on and they are entranced. But um, it's been really cute to see them get really excited about something like a movie. Do you guys have three and a half year olds who like are literally always hungry? Olivia is always hungry. Can you watch out please? Okay. Turn, turn, turn. Hey, boo. What's that? Lettuce? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with it? Cutting? It. Where? What do you mean? Why are you cutting it? Why am I cutting it? Yes. So I can eat it? Uh, and me? No. I want to eat that too. Thank you. I love you. Okay, you're vlogger today. <laughs> Today's like my vlogging day but nothing's really going on here. I've just been like cleaning and I should have vlogged that but I just didn't think about it. I cleaned my shower and my toilets and um, like the baseboards in my bathroom but I didn't like it didn't even occur to me to vlog it but I should have. But anyway, um, my mom reminded me today that my doctor's appointment is this coming Tuesday the 14th, my follow-up, and it made me so nervous because I've been doing a lot of research on my own about <clears throat> what's possibly going on with me, and um, I'm kind of coming into this appointment um, nervous because... Uh, so, in my other vlog, the unexpected news, news from my doctor, which I'll put in the iCards, I think will be like here or here, either way, I talked about how my thyroid was enlarged and we ran a bunch of tests and that I wouldn't get my results back until my next appointment, blah, blah, blah. Well, I found out that I could see my results online and all of my thyroid levels came back within normal range. So, I was kind of relieved and at the same time incredibly disappointed because I thought we were getting somewhere like I hope we, I thought we were like getting to a point where we we're going to figure out why I've been feeling so bad. I had joined a bunch of these thyroid support groups like hypothyroid groups and Hashimoto's groups um just kind of seeking information like I am one who does like a lot of my own research um when there's like something potentially affecting my life. <laughs> So I got on those pages and I posted my test results and I was kind of explaining to them how frustrated I was and I was like, I just thought I was going to get answers and so many of them commented and were like, oh, welcome to the club. We all had normal ranges too, but had another test done and it turns out I had like um, Hashimoto's thyroiditis or whatever. Um, it's, it's an autoimmune disorder that it's basically where your immune system attacks your thyroid and makes you feel like shiz. So I 
started doing a lot of research on Hashimoto's and diagnosing Hashimoto's, what tests you need to be diagnosed with Hashimoto's, how most general practitioners general practitioners aren't well versed um, in diagnosing it and even if they can diagnose it they're not sure how to actually treat it so a lot of them will just say like your thyroid levels came back normal and you're fine when in actuality you could have like raging Hashimoto's disorder or Hashimoto's thyroiditis so I'm hitting every marker for Hashimoto's brain fog, extreme fatigue, bloating, gastrointestinal issues, dry skin, itchy skin, um, joint pain, swelling, um, just like everything, like thinning hair, thinning and like dry, brittle hair, which is why I chopped all my hair off because it was just looking disgusting, um, and, and all this stuff, like um, puffy face, I have puffy face a lot. I've noticed in a lot of the vlogs recently that my under eyes will get really inflamed. Like it looks like I have extreme like swollen bags under my eyes, specifically my left eye. So I'm going in and I'm gonna fight for myself. I have, I'm gonna ask him to run an entirely new thyroid panel, including a bunch of tests that he left out and I've heard about a lot of doctors um, fighting back with that sort of thing, which I don't understand why, because if they're not the ones having to get their arm pricked and their insurance isn't having to pay for it or they're not having to pay for it, then like it shouldn't be a problem, right? So I just have always had a problem sticking up for myself, so I'm really nervous going into this, but um, I've been keeping a food journal. I'm going to be um, sure to actually listen to what he has to say. I want to be respectful and I know that he has like my best interest at heart so I really want to you know listen to what he has to say, take into consideration and then um, and then fight for myself because I deserve it. I, I don't deserve to feel like crap all the time and that's what's happening. Um, and this isn't just like normal mom with three kids and no help tired. This is like can't do anything tired homegirl and her brothers having given me a run for my money someone's not listening brothers are biting each other it's really ridiculous so we're going to my mom's tomorrow to hang out i guess we're gonna hang out at the pool maybe have um some food hey guys i got a new pool at cc's house you got a new pool at cc's house yeah with mermaids on it and fish on it wow Okay, guys, uh, can you flip that up? Write your name. Okay, Let, where, where's the O? Uh, hey, write your whole name. Where is Trace this? all of these. Okay. Trace all the letters. All, all of them. about today it's 11 11 make a wish yeah. um so today was a crap show of a day uh i stopped vlogging earlier after my last clip because the kids were just insane today um like i'm so stressed out that i'm like breaking out i have like a crazy cyst zit on my ear I'm getting an ulcer in my mouth. <laughs> like, it, today was just a lot. Um, the boys were like, just like fighting all day and Olivia was being extremely needy and like, I get she's only three and a half, but like, there's only so much you can handle some days and I was just like at my limit for today. So instead of like trying to force the rest of the day onto a vlog, I decided to just like put the freaking camera down and just like survive. <laughs> so that's what I did. I just tried to survive. I'm sorry if this vlog was like short and choppy and like weird. At the end of the day, I don't even remember what this morning looked like. So I don't even know what I got on film. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it was something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give us a big thumbs down. Um, if you want to leave us a comment, go ahead and do so. And be sure you hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you can get notified when we do upload. We're trying to be way more consistent. I say we. I'm trying to be way more consistent. 
about uploading for you guys so smash that notification bell so that you know when when i do and i will catch you in the next one bye you guys